A man who had his hands nailed to his kitchen counter by a gang last Thursday has spoken to BBC Newsline about the attack. 23-year-old Paul Harbinson said his girlfriend and her child were held in other rooms while he was assaulted. He has now fled Belfast, fearing for his life, and he has asked us to obscure his appearance. Be warned, this report from Andy Pagg contains graphic images of his injuries. Obviously, I was scared, do you know what I mean? Scared for my life. I didn't know what else, once it was nailed to that counter, what they were, do you know what I mean, what they were going to do next. Could have, could have pulled a gun out, could have shot me dead. With his hands pinned, he managed to kick away the gang's attempts to nail down his feet. I have no feeling and certain parts of my hands and knuckles and stuff. That's obviously where the nerves, they've killed the nerves. But it's better that than, i uh, say, being dead, you know what I mean? I can't sleep, I can't sleep at night times, you know what I mean? Paul and his girlfriend were in the front room when at least half a dozen masked men burst through the back door and dragged him through to the kitchen. Using industrial nails, a little bit like this one, they pinned his hands to the countertop and I can still see the holes where those nails were. What I can't see is any of his possessions. Paul says all his belongings are gone and he doesn't know where. I haven't even got, I haven't even got somewhere proper where I can sit and even think about, think about my future, do you know what I mean? Until, until I get somewhere permanent where I know I'm 100% safe and no one will be getting me or then that's when I'll sit and I'll, that's when I'll think about what I'm going to do later on in life. But, do you know what I mean? Starting off in life I had my mum and daddy or I had, I had family around me. No, I don't. I don't have no family. So, basically on my own. Can't get help off no one. I done a bit of illegal highs away last year. That was my own, me consuming it myself with my friends in my flat. I ordered it offline on my own name and I didn't sell it to none of my friends. It was put out on the table and we took it together. That was it. At just 23, Paul Harbinson has already received three previous punishment beatings. He now faces building a new life. Andy Pag, BBC Newsline.